Okay, do you remember Y2K? I do. I remember 1999 and celebrating New Year's Eve, waiting for the world to end. Okay, I didn't actually think the world was going to end, but I remember all the craziness, people stocking up on water and everything. So the A24 Y2K trailer just dropped, and this is a new horror movie, I believe. I thought it was. Now, I have to say, before going into this trailer, I, I saw the poster pop up yesterday, and I was very intrigued by it. A Y2K horror premise set in, like, 1999, going into 2000 sounds great to me. The guy is feeling the propane behind me, so hopefully that's not super loud if you hear that, but... I was really excited and then I went on IMDb to look up more information and this already has like a 4.2 or 4.3 or something on IMDb, which is not a good sign. It's not even out yet. The trailer just dropped today and it's already got really bad reviews. That's not promising and it kind of has all the earmarks of some of the horror movies that I have not been enjoying recently. So going in, I'm going to try not to completely prejudge this but it's a little difficult also uh it totally looks like super bad already like right away i saw like the just a little bit of it pre-roll pop up and it totally looks like super bad so let's see what we get you know i'm gonna try not to judge it too quickly but any lucky lady gonna get the midnight kiss just talk to her dude what's up laura we're actually going to this New Year's thing. It's going to be a total shit show. Oh. I see ya. The dialogue off? What does that mean? It's 1999, and we get in Hey, that guy. Here's the thing. In a few hours, you have an excuse to kiss the girl of your dreams. Open up. Take us away. <laughs> so smooth. On the net? Dumbass. Oh, I use Joe. You've got mail. Oh my god! Wow, there's a lot of references real fast. Oh shit. A Tamagotchi just drilled to a chick's head. Come on, we gotta go. We are experiencing major problems. As a result of the watch and pay breakdown. Bye bye, human race. We're talking global computer apocalypse. Sorry, guys. I guess you're fucked. They made a video on everything. That's crazy. You don't know how this shit works. Grab a bike, grab a board, grab whatever you can. This has been the shittiest night of my life. Stop this! But it's cool that we got to hang out for once. Oh my god! That's supposed to be Limp Biscuit. Was that really Limp Biscuit? Shoot, I didn't notice. Because actually, damn, I was too quick. But I don't think so. I can't knock down, but I get up again. That. Looks good to me. I mean, that looks right up my alley. It's like produced by Jonah Hill, and it kind of looks like end of the world vibes, you know, or whatever the end, whatever the heck that movie is with Jonah Hill and everybody. Um, what is that movie called? Oh my gosh, why can I not think of that movie? Anyway, I, uh, it's like I'm so frustrated because I that looks really good. That looks good to me. It looks right up my alley. Yeah, there's a crap ton of nostalgia thrown in there. Just shoved in your face. I mean, a Tamagotchi, like, kind of thing. So it's going to be, like, technology killing people, I guess, and Y2K, but set around these teens that are just trying to, like, hang out, hook up, and have fun. And so that, to me, that is exciting. I love movies like that. I love teen films where it's like stuff is going on around them, but it's maybe just like these teens just trying to navigate things. And so that looks really fun. It looks really funny. I like the lead actor. I can't remember his name, but um, I can't remember what he's from either, but he's in a lot of stuff. 
and he looks like he's really funny. I don't, it looks cool. It looks really cool. Lots of references. All the budget went to music, I'm assuming there. Um, but it sucks because it already has really bad reviews. Now, that could be like misleading for sure. But most of the time, if a movie's not even out yet and it's got an IMDb score, majority of the time it's from festivals and or the filmmakers themselves or people associated with the film. And most of the time they're generally, this is just a general, you know, notice thing that I've noticed. Not all the time. It's not a blanket statement necessarily. But most of the time the score is actually higher. And then when it comes out, it'll drop. So it's a bad sign to me that it's already so low. But hey, maybe maybe there's people went on a rampage and just went and bad or this bad review spammed it and that's not accurate. I don't know. It looks honestly, it looks awesome to me. I'm gonna go see it. I really hope it doesn't suck. I really, really hope it doesn't suck. It's that type of vibe where it's like it just could go either way. So I don't know. Let me know what you think down below and thank you for watching. Take care. Got a money scared on a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in caps, dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.